I'd like to call the meeting to order at 6.01 p.m. Council on Aging Board, Tuesday, January 10th, 2017, 6 p.m. Location 1 Main Street, Carlin's Room B. Um, could someone make a motion to accept the minutes of the last November meeting? So moved. I make a motion we accept the minutes. Second. A motion has been made by Phil, seconded by Peter, that we accept the minutes. Are there any questions on the minutes? Yeah, I have a question. Peter. Um, where is that piece of paper? Who has the minutes? Just had the Lori, minutes. can we have the minutes? Just a minute. Just a Here. Minute. Okay. Here's mine. How come I can't find my own? Okay. I'm going to read it. Um, the $500 grant for the choir. Yep. What's the purpose of that grant? It's to pay for the, the pianist and the and Music. Oh, okay. Like copying music. music. Yeah. Okay. Got it. It was right here. In front of me. Are there any other questions on the minutes? Can I get it? Um, all in favor of accepting the minutes? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The minutes have been accepted. The vouchers have been signed. Now under old business, new business, I'll have um, Susan do the director's report. Um, new van driver. Bill Tablet is an awesome addition to our van service. It's awesome having somebody that I can trust on the weekend. Um, I don't have to be there. And um, we call everybody the day before. It's been very slow. We were very quiet in December. I'm going to continue for the three months. I don't have this all written there. but. I'm going to continue for the three months and, and then make a decision. Um, right now it's not supporting itself, um, mm -hmm. which we need, we need it to do that. So we're only getting three to four people. We had, had in November, I only had three, you know, um, three people, four people. I've never had more than five going. In December we had three weeks with nobody. It was oh. snow and it was cold oh, and, yeah. and people didn't want to be at the mall on the weekend. So, or be like in a, a crowded area, not the mall because we don't go there. But um, this last weekend we had four people that were scheduled, only three ended up going. Where did they go? They went to Market Basket and Walmart on 101. On the What's the take? Sure. What's the break even number? It's, um, you mean how, how, how many people we need? It's never going to sustain itself. With the regular van, I don't, so the LRTA gives us a, a a, a good budget to run the, the van for, so I don't take it out of there. At this point right now, I'm paying for it out of gift account, just his salary. Um, but you're all never going to, even with a full bus, eight people is not going to to pay for it. We would have to, if it was going to work, I would have to ask the town for some additional money to run that van. On Saturday. On Saturday. But it, we'd have to have a full van and it's never... Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the cost for them to go well, it's a, it, he gets paid 14 something an hour. I can't remember exactly. I wish, and I can find that out so that you know exactly how much it is. But he's a starting van at, f actually, no, it's 16 something an hour. Um, so from what time to? 9 to 1. So from and 9 o'clock he starts, picks everybody up? Right. Goes. So it's four hour stint for him, and it's 350 each person. So it's never. Right. You know it's what I mean? So it's if not you're, if you're three, 350? 350 round trip. Right. So if you think about our van that we are supported by the LRTA, it, they really give us at a whole, really the whole budget kind of thing. You're getting a certain amount of money from the people taking the van, but it's never going to pay for it. We need to have someone, you know, make a nice contribution and so we could run a thing on Saturday. But at this point, looking at it now, I don't think it's going to work out and I know the people that are taking the van will be sad but we really have to think about the money it, I mean I'm doing it right now the gift so that we can give it a try um, and I, I don't think it's gonna gonna work. what would you consider success per, per Saturday if we had eight people on that if we had a full van 
That's going to be really difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we go, if we had, uh, even if we, I would love it if we had a constant six people, I'd be happy with that. Then I would fight like cats and dogs for it. But we've actually had some weekends where no one's interested. That's a. Mm -hmm. That's really strange. So do you, yeah. yeah. Do you have strange. to pay him if no one's interested? No. Oh. And he doesn't. I know he had to go. He's great. He's a he's a good person. He just really likes doing it. Mm -hmm. So he was like, "Sue, I think it's kind of, you know, we'll, you know, he gets so excited." And I know he, he the, the van was frozen one day that he went, and he couldn't even. He had to. He was late picking everybody up, and he he didn't tell me. I found out after, but he, he was like, "No, no, I only want to be paid for the four hours." Mm -hmm. That's it's a Saturday. He mm -hmm. drives a tractor trailer all week. He doesn't need to be, you know. Mm -hmm not getting paid for what he does. Is that enough so. time for the people to do what they need to yeah, do? There's plenty of time. Okay. Yeah. He gets on the van at 9, picks everybody up at 9.30, heads up to New Hampshire. They have at least two hours at Walmart. And, and it's not interesting people, okay. which I thought it would, because we had a lot of people asking for something to do on the weekends. I mean, just going to Market Basket alone, I think, would be helpful. Yeah, yeah but we do that on Friday. Oh. So, even that, but but still, I really feel, and I don't. You can all uh, have an opinion. I'm very open to it. I, w I like the idea of having service on Saturday, but it, I don't think it's ever going to. That's a real loss leader. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, what too. A lot You're of also paying for gas too. Now the the LRT gives you money for gas. They give you money for the van. It's the salary, right. and we have to take in three thousand dollars. That's all we have to take in for the year. They pay f everything else. So without having somebody to support us and help us with that Saturday run, I don't think it's a go. I don't think we can sustain it. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Too, a lot of people don't, especially um, when we're getting up there, don't like to go shopping in crowds. Saturdays and Sundays are when everybody's there. Yeah. Or, or you know, winter when yeah. it's cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's winter, winter is a hard time. Been better this yeah. summer, yeah. right? Yeah. Spring, yeah. Yeah. spring, yeah. Well, spring yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. spring. But I, we thought it would be really interesting to, you know, for the maybe holidays. For the holidays, yeah, and holidays. Walmart's so yeah. big. Even if you have a ton of people there, I feel like it. I mean, you have grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. You can get clothes there. We, I thought it would be like, mm -hmm. just an oh update. yeah, it's, yeah. it's great. Yeah. The people that go love it. Yeah, but it That's doesn't. We don't. It doesn't go every weekend. I mean, we could think of it. Uh, I mean, if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. We don't pay anybody. We don't use the van. We could do it with something like that. Mm -hmm. But or instead what, of every yeah. week, but you still have so many. Week. Yeah, or once a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would it make? Would it help to make an announcement on Wednesday that the van is uh, not uh, being quite successful as I thought it would be? Yeah, but we could definitely do that. If mm -hmm. it's not being used the way I thought it was going to be, we're going to have to drop it. Yeah. I, I will Maybe definitely that do would, that. Would but that was the thing when we went into it. I said <laughs> it's a trial. We're going to yeah. see what happens. We're going to see. I Maybe want, as it gets I warmer, get people you know. Out. I have somebody that is is disabled that really wanted the Saturday thing, and yeah. she hasn't gone once, not <laughs> one Saturday. Isn't that so? Well, so, weather, so but you get that a lot. You get a lot of people yeah. that really yeah. want something, mm -hmm. and then they're like. Well, like our, our the weather class. hasn't been that good. Either. No, it hasn't. You know, no, no. The cold really and hasn't. the rain and snow. And, and, and I don't know what happened to the shopping this year, but has anybody wanted to go to the malls? It has oh, been no. so crowded yeah. and so no. over. It's I just been online. insane. Well, now that all that stuff's over with, you know, they make that announcement, maybe it'll pick up. Well, we're going to see. We actually ended up starting at the end of October, so I was only, I only had two weeks in October. We were going to start the first week, but it took a really, with Bill having a full-time job, getting all the, uh, you know, the drug testing and all, all that stuff that had to be done before he started, mm -hmm. it was a difficult. So okay. we haven't quite gone the three months, but it doesn't look like, to me, that we can... Well, these are hard months, too, I mean, because yeah, of the, the weather and the winter. Yeah. being cold. And mm -hmm. Well, it, it also, to... To so the uh, devil's advocate here, I'm seeing at the senior center that the, the people have been down too because yeah. a lot of the weather and sicknesses mm -hmm. There's a lot and of sicknesses right right now. Now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. Sickness, cold, this horrible so cold. I see that Cookie going. walking around and looking. <laughs> And the expression on his face is not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some days, but yeah. as I, I, once I get down to our, you know, the meal, we've been in November. 
I won't jump ahead. I'll move to the next no. thing. Does right. anyone have any other questions on that? No. Nope. Nope. Bill's working out great, but I, you know, we'll we'll talk about it again. But um, that's where we're at. Um, training and cleaning of the kitchen. Um, I cross train the staff on cross contamination, correct food temperatures, hand washing and cleaning of surfaces. Uh, the training went well and went. we got very good feedback overall. Mm -hmm. um, we had some great ideas. Um, the plates have been in a kind of a crate. We've all yeah. been, it's all been very frustrating to us. It's an open crate and it's been on, off the ground where it should be. Yeah. But you kind of have to rewash them every time you go to use them because they are not in a closed Tupperware. Yeah. And, but the other thing, having said that, it's very difficult having them in the big Tupperware now that we have them in because you, you can't lift find that out. Lift I don't you don't find, find it difficult. I don't find it difficult at all. So we, we hmm. covered it. We have it in a nice I Tupperware feel cover. With it there. Yeah, and uh, so the plates are more protected. But that was one of the ideas, and um, I think it was the mitts. So the, yeah, and the trays for the silverware and stuff like that. Uh, that was, they were donated. So that. Oh yeah. That was all great. So what we do now, I, and, and I'm sure that no one in the kitchen knows this, but we have it in a. All the silverware is in a bucket, right? And then the volunteer for the kitchen that day has to sort it, wrap it, and do all this. Um, we had a great Mary, um, Anne Marie, who yeah. is a volunteer in our kitchen. Her husband works at a kitchen and they donated this, these um, silverware Super separators kind of yeah. trays. So now it's, it's easier. It's easier. Yeah. And it, it looks nicer. We can cover it all with, yep. you know, and protect all the silverware. And everything. Not that we weren't, we had a lid and everything, but it was just very time consuming. It's a lot of work. The kitchen is a lot of work. So having said that, I want to thank all those people that came that day. I think it was a great training. We had some great ideas. And um, we have um, my, my next little item there is Roxanne Chamberlain. She's a volunteer. She's phenomenal. She'll be bleaching all the walls monthly. Um, and that needs to be done. We've gotten volunteers here and there, but really that kitchen has to be spotless. So I love that she's doing it. She does an awesome job. It takes her a good two, three hours. At least. Um, and sometimes she has a little help, but she's doing an amazing job. So um, it's great. Our kitchen's beautiful. Outreach. Michelle and I have been working very closely with the town nurse, Tamara Bernard. Um, she's awesome around some family service uh, several families um, it's an excellent uh, it's excellent to collaborate with Tamara and has been she's been a great asset to our team and with families in crisis she's phenomenal I call I, if I have questions she's always right there for me um, I set up a couple of meetings with some people and she comes you know yep whatever what day what can we do it and we just how many families are participating we just have two or three right now but it's we've never done it before um, and it's been very helpful now, is she from the Shoulder Nursing yes. Service? Yes. Uh, veteran Ceremony. I know we're talking about Veteran Ceremony, but it was fabulous. Um, I don't know if, if, did any of you go to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did, we, we were given these beautiful flags, um, pens that someone had stored up. Mm -hmm. They were like, here, you can have these. Tiny little flag pen, and we, every person that came in, um, that was in the branch or any, they came in and um, came through the door, we got their name, what branch they were in, what, um, I'm going to say it all wrong, but we knew every single name, what, um, what branch they were in, what their rank was, and we called them up, shook their hand and pinned, we had several, we had 26 men there, um, we called, and women, and, and, women, and we called Schofield House, and grabbed a couple of those. We got. They were very excited. They they came. It was. Nice. We had a full table mm -hmm. from Schofield nice. House. It was beautiful. It was very hard, very moving, not to cry, and it was awesome. I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, it was uh, it was very a moving tribute to our fearless veterans who have protected and served our country for many years. At the ceremony this year, we called them up individually and announced their branch and rank. We also. Um, pinned them with beautiful flag pen lapel pins that were donated to by one of our seniors. All In all, we had um, 84 participants for lunch and our veterans ate free first for free, uh, free of charge. Um, it, was, it was awesome. We'll do the same thing next year. Yeah. And um, I think just making our veterans, letting them know like individually how much we appreciate mm -hmm. what they do for us is mm -hmm. it's just awesome.
Mm -hmm. um, our Shine program, over um, 34 people scheduled and met with Ann Sheldon to go over their Medicare medical coverage. If you took part in the program or in the past years and found it to be helpful, please reach out to our state representatives and let them know. This program is a central part of seniors choosing the correct health plan. If you have ever visited the Medicare website or had to choose a plan yourself, you know it's not easy. Unfortunately, this program may not exist. So the volunteer program, they're talking about getting rid of it. I don't know where it is at this point. What, we, what I tried to do is have people that did go see Ann for those scheduling times to fill out a little form and and so that and I sent it right off to um, our state reps. So I get a lot of veterans that come in with their spouses and ask about this type of situation where I'm getting ready to go on Medicare. I don't know what I should pick. Do I need a supplement? Do I not need a supplement? And I always refer them back to their senior center and say, go to your outreach target and they'll be able to help you figure yep. out what works and what doesn't. And I think. Under this, does this kind of fall under the tax where you help people do their taxes? No. Are you going to do that's that separate. this year? Yes, yes we are. Okay. Yes. Yep. Everyone, if you, in that, speaking of that, thanks um, for the tax preparation that's coming up. If you have, I know a lot of already. people that really admire and appreciate having that at the senior center. Yep, it's fabulous. So, um, I want, so if, uh, unfortunately this program may not exist in the future and that is why we ask you to reach out to your representatives today. You are you have a voice, let it be heard. At this time I would like to thank Ann Sheldon for her many years of service and dedication to our to our ever growing community. Thank you Ann from the bottom of our hearts. Today she was there from 12 till I left at 4.30. Um, wow. She had somebody at 3 and she was like, can you stay? So I'm like, of course I can. The person was so appreciative and she spent all that time with her by herself. That's and uh, that's what she does though. She spends, you know, you come for your hour appointment but it's sometimes not an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but she spends the time and makes sure that you really understand what's going on. And that's, a, it's volunteer, she, is, she gets training and all that. I mean, it's a it's a lot of work, but she does a fabulous job. So it's a, it's a very important program. Well, I also feel that because they think everybody has computers now that you can just do this by computer. Right, or but if you phone. but the people yeah. that do have the computer, even if you go on it, it's still, it's still confusing, confusing. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. and complicated. They're hoping that you'll go. Well, I can't do it. <laughs> you know, um, but I think Anne breaks it all down, spends the time, makes appropriate calls, and. Um, the really the best thing if you make an appointment with the Shine representative is having all what your... What is Shine? It's for uh, Medicare. Seniors helping. It's like yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Seniors helping. Insurance. Insurance. Yeah, yeah, I don't... I'm okay. so sorry. I, I can find out definitely. It's all right. Right now. It's all right. That's okay. close enough. Um, but it's an excellent program. She does a great job. Our meals program. The meals program is going very well. We served 194 meals um, um a week wow. for the month of November wow. and 180 meals in the month per of December, December per week. 180 yep. in one week? 194 in meals yeah. in the month. It's an average. I add up all the how many people we serve. So you have like 34 on Monday and 30 or 29. Or it depends on weather and all that other good stuff. And the only reason the nut count is down. Hey. <laughs> the only reason the count is down for the meals in December is we had some snow days yep. and uh, that was in had some Monday. Stinky. How are the meals? Mondays come, off exactly. Are the seniors ha happy with the meals that are coming at they home? They are. Uh, they happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, static. No, that's great. I just I. I my heart's always behind the Meals on Wheels program, and I just like to know how we. This is not this Meals is on Wheels. No, I mean, um, they're not happy about those. <laughs> That's well, I'm, I'm thinking that. I'm sorry. The people that are getting them now, I mean, it's it, it, you don't. We don't know why people why the numbers are down. The numbers could be down because people have passed. Right now, we're at um, for meals on twelve meals. and fourteen, yeah. I think. 14. Oh. Well, yeah, I was thinking this was probably yeah. Meals on Wheels, I'm sorry. No, this is just our meals at the center. Yep. Which, that's great too. Yeah. When people are hearing about Sheffy and how great the meals are. Mm -hmm. and 
the mm -hmm. phenomenal staff that we have more helping people, him. More people are coming in instead of getting the meals yes, at home. Yes, meals yeah. at home. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, the people that are getting the meals, they're serving mm -hmm. their purpose okay. at home. They're, it's going well. Yep. We've had new. We had two new. Um, a new couple that came on board yeah. this year. So, I mean, it's not dying out. It's just not necess necess necessary right now or or the person is just not liking the meal. But that's where we come in. That's where we give a feedback. And that's why we fill out those forms and let, let them know what's going on. So we do that every year now, too. There's a survey for the Meals on Wheels program. But it's hard to do as uh, the Meals on Wheels at home, it's very hard to do the survey yeah. when you're not feeling well. Right. If you see that, and I've mentioned that mm -hmm. to them, I said, you know, this is difficult for someone that isn't feeling well to fill out. It's mm -hmm. not one page of five questions. It's, uh, I think it's 24 questions front, and then there's, it goes on to the back side. And if you're not yeah. feeling well, mm -hmm. I mean, unless I had a volunteer that wanted to go to every person's house, oh, okay and sit and with them and do it, which I still think that's a lot. I think it's a lot for them to do. And we, I talked to several of our van drivers that felt exact, or our, our Meals on Wheels drivers have felt the exact same way. Um, but the people are liking them. I haven't heard anything personally from the people that are getting the meals now with um, dislike at all. Yep, so they, I think it's going well. Um, the Christmas dinner. Um, no, let's let's go. Thanksgiving dinner. A wonderful time had by all. A great deal of compliments on the food. Thanks to Chefy Dennis Valcourt and uh, and his trusty assistant Mo Trembley has been amazing. The man is there 24/7. If you haven't met Mo, he's fabulous. He's the one with the beard in the hairnet over his beard. <laughs> but he he's just so great at our New Year's Eve party, which I didn't mention here. And I'm sorry about that, but the New Year's Eve party was awesome. We had 120 people last yeah. Friday. And what was great about it was we had our art show in the morning, which we didn't have planned, having it both on that same day. And I thought, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. But it was so like wonderful because the people, over 30 paintings were hanging up at the center. And because we had it on that day, not only did the people that painted the pictures, which were only five people with over 30 pictures. But their friends came to support them, and then we had everybody coming for the New Year's Eve party. And it was really, really fun. We had um, classical music playing in the morning, and we had uh, like uh, a little um, breakfast, you know, pastries uh -huh. and things like that, and some coffee, and people just walked around. And, and once the party was over, once the art show was over, we got the real music on, and uh, we had a great time. It was good. By the way, there's a change in the kitchen. Yep. Yeah. I was told this week, Sheffy says he's no longer in charge. He's not in charge? Who's in charge? Friend? Oh, I, Friend. yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> It's like brother and sister in there, man. <laughs> um, so I didn't mean to go off on that, but I didn't write down the New Year's Eve party. We had 120 at uh, New Year's Eve. It was awesome. Yeah, we had a great time. It was so much fun. I tried fun. to get and them going, but they wouldn't go. They wouldn't do they, yeah. He kept blowing the horn, but no one would answer him. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a blast, and everyone helped clean. It was, it was a perfect day. Um, so back to Thanksgiving, Dennis worked tirelessly throughout the weekend to create a f uh, fabulous menu. At this time, I would like to thank the friends of the Pepperell Seniors for the incredible turkeys um, that they provided, and I would like to thank Kimball's Farm for the squash, and the entire meal was fabulous, and I forgot the business association who served us that day. It was nice. very nice. Mm -hmm. um, we had quite a few volunteers, um, I would say 18 people were there. At least. And it, they did a great job, um, and it was wonderful. It's great that our community supports. We we get so much support. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Yeah, it so our Christmas dinner, um, Thanksgiving dinner, we served about we 140, but with all the volunteers, I would say we're close to 180 mm -hmm. um, to 190 people. So um, it was wonderful. Christmas dinner. Um, first, I would like to thank the Pepper Police Association for sponsoring our meal every year. This, they are amazing to do it, and everyone really appreciates it. 
Dennis and Mo once again did an excellent job cooking the meal. I want to thank all of the town employees for coming out to serve the food and clean up after. As they say, many hands make light work. Um, thank you. Um, the serving went it, great. We did a little different. We did every single table. So everyone, we serve family style if you haven't been to our Christmas or Thanksgiving dinners and going one table at a time, bang, 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 you're, we can get you served in about 20 minutes with all the help. Nice. It, it, it's the food's hot, ready, and gone. It was, it went so smooth. Special. <laughs> yep. We did the same thing for our New Year's Eve party and it worked out great. Shit. It worked out great. Certainly did. So, um, as they said, oh no, thank you. This year um, we had <laughs> the singing trooper who was fantastic. His wife Mary was able to come with him this time and it really made the day very special. We served 199 people a delicious meal. Um, meetings, I attended the business association meeting breakfast, that was in November. Um, breakfast to remind everyone about the Thanksgiving dinner. I had a great department head meeting. I met with several directors for this from this area, which we'll be doing monthly. Um, to share ideas and help one another. The directors will be meeting at our center on February 2nd. We are also on our fifth episode of Center Stage, our show, and it's going really well. This month we had um, Kay Erickson and uh, Elizabeth, um, her daughter, cooking the tomato soup cake, and it was just precious. And I did it a little different. We kind of highlighted their relationship pretty much because it was this little tiny cute bickering the whole time and it was so cute <laughs> so we did a little different oh and that was the uh, there's not enough liquid yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was so cute and that popped up at uh, the coloring class did it kate yeah. kept saying yeah it was so funny she the tomato soup cake and the way she does it and elizabeth had <laughs> had her little version and then elizabeth wanted to add like a uh, frosting and kay was like you're gonna need liquid <laughs> She kept saying it. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so cute. But the dynamics of a mother and daughter, you know, you see little Kate, it's so precious. And then they, they get together and it was like, mmm, no. Nope. <laughs> it was so cute. So I hope they liked it. So I let Kay watch it the other day. It was it was good. Uh, the annual report I'm working on the annual report. It's due in the first week of February, um, gathering stats and photos to really highlight our center. We've had over 200 new members in the last two years. It's very exciting. Overall, it was a very busy couple of months at the center. The energy is high with new mem members coming through the door weekly. This is a great time to feel the love of family and, a, and real sense of community throughout this awesome holiday season. Thank you to all our awesome volunteers and, your, and our amazing staff. We are a great team and I know it will continue to perform well together as we continue to grow. Does anybody have any questions on the director's report? Mm -hmm. Will we accept it? I make a, um, can I have a motion to accept the director's report? Irene has made a motion. I'll second. Seconded. And all those in favor? Aye. I'm sorry. Opposed? Just ignore me. <laughs> nice have it. We'll accept the director's report. That's kind of hard to do. It was very easy that time. <laughs> that time it was very easy. That's right. That's one. The next thing is to sign approved revision of the building policy. <laughs> Which is this. So we... Do you mind if I talk? Could I? Go ahead. Um, so the revision, what we did, we already approved this, and all we need is you guys, every, us all, to sign it. And what I did was with the key form, which we've never had, it's adopted. This, so it's adopted. So it'll say adopted, and then we just sign it. And Sheila did um, all the um, changes that we need, and we approved. Um, I think it was yeah. two in October. In October, right. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to pass it around and sign That's it. This one. But yep, and both of them actually, mm -hmm. so that everyone can. I won't. Yeah, because that's brand new. The key for us. And this one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we did go over that and approve it at the mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. As we're signing that one, we're going to review and approve the next subcommittee revision, 
through, Peter. Okay, the committee met on reviewing the Council on Aging Manual Standard Operational Procedures to make whatever changes we thought were appropriate. And the document that you have in front of you represents the changes that we're recommending. We have this. This what goes with us. I apologize. We have the uh, the old text, then followed by the new text that we're recommending in red. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your mission statement. So the first is the mission statement, and we'd like to see it, it change to the Pepperell Council on Aging is a home away from home environment dedicated to providing nourishment of the mind, body, and soul, offering support systems, social interaction, education, and physical activity for our senior citizens. We hope that by wording it this way, we would give people who read the, the mission statement a very comprehensive view of why we were doing what we were doing and also what we were doing in that nice. statement. Mm -hmm. That's, mm, it's meaningful because I think it, not only it, it targets all seniors, not just one particular group. Mm -hmm. So is that acceptable? Yes. yes. Okay. The purpose, the Council on Aging established under the Massachusetts General Law C.6, Section 73, and the Pepperell Char Charter shall be to carry out programs designed to, and this is the change, fulfill the mission statement. Mm -hmm. Is that acceptable? Yes. yes. Okay, turning to page two. Article 6, Duties of Officers. The change in the first paragraph added the red text. The director will file the minutes with the town clerk's office and ensure they are posted in the designated posting locations, i.e. Pepperell Town Hall, Town of Pepperell website, or other designated location. Okay. But the, that's the old one. That's the old one. The new one is... The director is responsible to ensure the Right, filing. that allows us, allows her to, to make sure that it gets there, even though she may not be the one who takes it there. Okay. Then we move to page three. Um, this essentially is, is my recommendation that we don't use the Robert's Rules of Order 
as a, as a mechanism for how we run our meetings. Um, that essentially is a process that's for a very large legislative body and can get very, very complicated if somebody really wants to invoke the rules. Uh, you can get it wrapped around the axle pretty quickly. So I made a recommendation that we use the same rules in our meetings that we use at town meeting. It gives a lot more flexibility to the chairman. You Thank you. Act as the moderator. Thank you. And in that context, you have a little more latitude about how you run the meeting. And okay. Thank you. And Thank it's you. The, according to the rules of town meeting time, which is a published book. Um, and that book has enough legalistic stuff in it so that you can uh, refer to legal uh, cases that have been brought and how they've been resolved typically at, that arise out of town meeting. It's, it's pretty easy to understand. Okay, that's page three, is that? That's it. Page three accepted? Yes. And that's it. Can we make a motion to accept make a motion we accept uh, all the changes made in article 6 in some oh uh, in all the articles okay, okay. a second second friend a motion has been made by Phil Durno seconded by Fran Bergeron that we accept the changes to articles 6 7 2 and 3 all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We will accept the changes to these articles. Now there was one other um, document that we reviewed, but it's a document that's actually issued by the Massachusetts General Laws, and we don't have an ability to make any changes to that, so we accepted it. Okay. just as it exists and what I did is I we talked um, mm -hmm. Sheila and I spoke and we we I called um, the head of the um, MCOA and he gave us the revision that they did in 2015 so everyone once we get all, all our information together you'll have that too we'll get so a nice I, book to I got a, new, a brand new revised um, and they haven't done it since so um, we have the new updated and um, that we'll have Peter and Fran, I want to thank you very much. This means a lot. And as we go through these, it's going to help everybody under in to. I'm sorry. Oh, Fran, Sheila. Sheila, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fran was there too. <laughs> but this will help all, all of us understand and be all on the same page. And I think it'll, it'll be a big benefit yeah. to go through each one and see where we're at. I think it helps us learn all mm -hmm. this stuff and too. learn everything yeah, as I we're mean, going, going along through it has been great for yeah, me yeah. and I personally love the mission statement mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. thought it I was think that our means mission a lot it was yeah. a little bit yeah. cold and that's it not was. what we are anymore mm -hmm. so I think I love the way we did it is we all kind of wrote down words um, of how we feel about the center mm -hmm. and then we kind of with everybody just kind of collaborating we came up with with this new one and I think it really um, highlights what we actually do at our center. What we might consider doing is putting this up somewhere where, you, where it can be read when people walk into the room. I like that. Yeah. We can do that. Just that one great statement. Idea. Yeah, and that's yeah. great. I love yeah. it. Just say mission statement. And, yep. and that way people yeah. will know. Yep. Are there any other matters that may arise? Um, Bob Newton, president uh, of the Friends, do you have anything? Uh, I just got a question on... Uh, the band and the uh, Saturday service. Uh, I wonder how many people in Pepperell, seniors or otherwise, know that this is operating. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how much advertising should be done to get this. That's a great idea. I mean, I've done what I did for the art show is I did a little like a public service announcement to let people know that it'll be up. But yeah. I mean, it really depends on how but many I'm people. Even talking like, uh, you know, visiting the drugstores, for instance, and telling them about it, and, uh, 
and so forth. I okay. see if this would help. Well, what about but a lot of I these go in a lot of the stores and yeah, right. but uh, yeah. you know, I wonder how many people actually read but them. Right. Really, and that's, that's a great idea, them. Bob. Oh, excuse me, Bob and Susan. Well, what about if we put some a little warp in the voice that we have this that available? Mm -hmm. And it's not just for the, the members of the senior. Can the, any, can senior. Other, any senior mm -hmm. is able capable of, of using well, this. Well, what the intent was to right, be for right. the whole town. Mm -hmm. Right, but yeah, I don't think people realize that. And I'm sure that weather and everything else affects it, right. but I'm just wondering if many people really don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Point. Yes. I will get on it. And I do look like for you it. Let me know. I do. Okay. So see is that the same as doing it on the cable television? Yes, it is. Yeah, can mm -hmm. I can do it there too. Yeah. Yep. Does anybody other have any other so matters? Bob? Mm -hmm. Peter, your your uh, change in the meeting style, but these two won't be uh, overlooked. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question here. Are we going to continue to uh, on with all of the rest of the pieces? Yes. To one at a time, and that way you're not, you mm -hmm. know. We're not overwhelmed. Yeah. Just um, take one at a time, or whatever you well, feel comfortable with. Yeah. Some of them don't need to be revised, so we'll go through and see which ones do. Um, but are and we going to make it time and for the Yeah, let's do that right now. <clears throat> Is there anything else that people have? Yeah. Peter? Just wait. Wait till we oh. get this business out of the way. Oh, okay. January. Do we want to meet in January? Sure. Uh, what's good? The 24th? We did a what day is that? Tuesday? Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday, January 24th. 10 a.m.? Like we did last time, right? everybody? Nope, just the people that... Okay, yep. that's what I thought. Yeah, just the... Uh, Fran, the uh, just Fran and just Sheila and uh, Peter. That's not good for me. That one more? <laughs> okay. 24th is not good. Let's change it. <laughs> what, about, what about Wednesday? Is that... How about Wednesday? Can we do an afternoon? <laughs> Wednesday the 25th? That's Would the afternoon that work for me. you, Peter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the 25th at... Um, can we do three o'clock? That works for me. Does that work for you, Fran? Yep. Pete? I don't know. Yep. Tuesday, actually. With you, I open the door and I step through. Oh, and I can. Three o'clock. Peter, do you have something you want to yeah, add? Yeah, a document that came out at the meeting of all of the Council on Aging Towns. Um, we were passed out a document called Executive Summary, Council on Aging Boards. Okay, and I don't, did, I, did everybody see this? Yeah. I think we ought to copy it and, and give everybody a copy. Okay. This was in the book that, the original book that we were given, I think everyone, and I think there's a copy of something Can I just take there. a peek? Sure. Yeah. But, yeah, it should go in the book when we right. finish the kind of whole thing. That should be part of it. I agree. It's a good teaching document about mm -hmm. what a Council on Aging Board is really supposed to be up to. Mm -hmm. But it, we'll put it in the book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can someone just email me a copy of that, or they're going to put it in the book? We're going to put it in the book. So, and I think I have a copy of it. Thank now. you. Yes. Thank awesome. You. Can I keep this one? You may, <laughs> but give it back to me. No. Well, I, all right. <laughs> I'll do it. You got it. It's not much your night. 
I'll do it, Peter. You ought to, you ought to see what happens on uh, Mondays and Fridays when I... I that. He's tortured. <laughs> in the I have, coloring class. I have a lot, of, a lot of fun being very quiet in that coloring class. Um, now, there's another thing that I saw, and I think it, I, I observed it, and, it, and it was talking to a person, I believe, who was in, in England. But it's it's a a movement that's going around in which people are wearing safety pins. Has any? any oh yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can smile. Um, it's a movement to let other people or immigrants know that you're safe. With that 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 immigrant oh, that or that person, person is safe with you. You that they can come up to you and ask you a question that you're not going to come down on them. It's oh. this positive um, oh. piece because so many immigrants don't feel safe anywhere. Mm -hmm. So if you're wearing this safety pin, it means they can come to you. Or <coughs> anybody, right. anybody for that matter. It could yeah, be yeah. LGBT. It right. could be right. uh, handicapped people. Or it's 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 a huh. a wearable expression of. You're a safe person. Uh, you're, you are safe with Just me. Just a regular Just safety, safety pin. pin. Just a regular no, safety, safety pin. pin. Wow. Of, of any design, it can be gold. Oh. Okay. Mm. Glittery. It can Glittery. be whatever. Yeah. Just just a regular old safety pin. Old fashioned diaper pin. Quilting. <laughs> I like that. Pin. that old fashioned diaper pin. I should bring that up at work. I like that. Yeah. Well, I've never heard that's of it. That's I've never heard yeah. of it either. I think I heard of it on Facebook or some news item. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any other suggestions for the good of the council? Bob? I just have one more thing to say. What's that? This board is working so good with the seniors and the, and the friends and everything at the senior center that I just want, I just love it. Yeah, Thank you. That's, That's really happy. nice. Thank you. And Bob just became our president again of the Friends. So congratulations. That's great. That's congratulations. Good for you. We have some. We actually have some new faces in uh, the friends group also, yeah. which is great. Um, we have a new person that is is now the um, secretary. 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 Yep, and we have other people that are very yeah. interested in um, becoming a part of it. So um, it's wonderful. Oh, it's Pat going must great. be happy. <laughs> Relax. She's but been she's been waiting a long time. Does anybody have any other concerns or questions or comments? We haven't approved any of this. The volunteer, the volunteer reports. Uh, reports. Um, I don't have that one. I sent them all to you, guys, mm -hmm. and I probably I made the volunteer report, the activity yeah. report, and I sent the revisions. So, oh, okay. but I sent them to you a month ago. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, um, but yes, I, I copied a couple of them. She did. She sent them twice, actually. Yeah, I sent it again. No, I had it. I don't I don't it. Just but there you go. There's, did you look at it, honey? No, I didn't. Okay. Thank you. Take a quick peek. I only have two, though. Here, you can. Okay. I have volunteer <coughs> and the activity. Yeah. I've got it on. I've got There's, it on. Um, you can take turns. On here. I, oh, you do? I yeah, okay. right. Okay. Didn't okay. get a chance to print it out because <coughs> I just got it today. Oh. Well, yeah, I sent them out a month ago. Yeah, but she did. I didn't get it on my email. I checked my spam mm -hmm. in case it went there because it was, you know, different. It wasn't there either. Uh -huh. so I don't Am I on a wall? Nice. It's all on here. <laughs> volunteers, let's see. So the first one we'll look at is the coordinator of volunteers monthly report for December. Volunteers, there we go. <laughs> I'll just read this so that okay. if everybody's okay with yeah. it. Yeah. Our December 2016 Volunteer of the Month is Marilyn Arsenal. Marilyn has been driving for our Meals on Wheels program for the past four years, even with her busy schedule as an RN. She makes time to deliver meals to our shut-in seniors. She is a kind, caring, and dedicated volunteer. We are so very fortunate to have her on our volunteer team. We honored 22 volunteers with birthday postcards. On Friday, December 10th, we held our annual Presents for Parents event. The following volunteers participated. Chef Falcourt, Donna Ray Bertram, <coughs> Mary Ann, Janice, Dottie, Peg, Marge, Anna, Martha, Sue, Kay, Janet, Linda, Linda Wilder, Maureen Farmer, Barbara, Faye, Vaughn, Joanna, Jerry, Heather, Roxanne, and Fran. 
We thank them for their volunteer time and service. On Wednesday, December 14th, we had a delicious pot roast dinner, Christmas dinner, put on by the Pepper Police Association and served by members of our town hall. The Friends of the Pepper Seniors did all of the vegetable peeling. A wonderful time was by all. Thank you to bell ringers Roxanne Chamberlain, Lauren McLean, Jean Combs, Pat Wallace, Alice Chase, Bill Durno, and some of our local firefighters. They collected over $2,000. New volunteers, Patricia Mariano, kitchen assistant Jean Conley, kitchen assistant Zoe Filbrin, activity assistants Bill Barnes, activities assistant. Volunteer hours between December and December 31st were a total of 534 hours, equivalent to a pay of $7,549. Can I get a motion to accept this? I'll motion it. A motion has been made by Fran. No. Second. No, I, 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 I'll get it. Um, <laughs> A motion. You got the sex right. <laughs> <laughs> a motion has been made by Irene, seconded Second. by. Take it to her. Fran. No, <laughs> no, 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 Sheila. Sheila, I'm sorry. Sheila. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <laughs> we just. Um, She's at the, the monthly report for volunteers is accepted. The next one is the outreach report. Has everybody had a chance to look at that? No. <clears throat> there's, you, there's two reports, December and November, because we're two months. Mm -hmm. So there's two. We months. have the December report and the November report. I think really the facts are, I mean, it's all right. I think the facts are. Mm. Similar? Similar? Yeah, the numbers yeah. are our telephone contacts are 84. In November, there were 120. Office visits were 57 in November and 31 in uh, December. Um, home visits were 6 in November and 2 in December. <laughs> and referrals are 9 <coughs> in November and referrals are 4 in December. So that looks great. No triad meetings right now. It's been it's been hard getting everyone together. There's a lot of people that we bring in. Um, there won't be one this month because our cutie was going to be taking a vacation, which is fabulous. So we'll start back up in February, um, and it'll be great. Um, fuel assistance. We had four in November, and three in December. And the events. I'm not sure what events is, but that's there's four and. 5 in uh, December. So 4 in November, 5 in December. The meetings, um, we had 6 in November and 4 in December. Trainings, none this month or, or the last month, so November or December. And Salvation Army, we had 5 people that needed assistance in November and 4 in December. And we only had one inspection in December. So, I mean, I think what just to make it easier for you, and then she just writes about it in the bottom here mm -hmm. about every what the stats. Can I get a motion to accept? Motion to accept. A motion by Fran Bergeron to accept. Seconded <laughs> by Peter Nordrum. Peter Nordrum. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. All opposed? I'm going to raise my hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was looking right at him. I'm waiting for him to raise his hand. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We accept that the outreach report. So Mich I sent you a new one today of uh, activities, um, the activities report. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's talking about our stats. The big things are, are the dinners and everything. Thanksgiving dinner we had 170. Christmas dinner we really it was like 199. I mean we felt it was capacity. Um, and the same for Thanksgiving, but I think it was a little bit more at Christmas because we had the singing trooper and all that great stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, Neshoba Tech, we only had 21 people um, in November. December, we didn't have a uh, Neshoba Tech meal uh, because the November was a little screwy and it's on a different day now. And the reason we did that, and I want you all to know why we did that, is Neshoba Tech comes monthly. Mm -hmm. We used to have it on Thursday, which Thursday is our Rotary Day. Oh. Rotary brings in quite a bit of money for our meals program. They pay $7 a piece for the meal. 
but tracking them down for the for just the monthly dinner was a second job for Cheryl. Really, she was calling them. Everyone's busy. How many yep. people are going to be there? Mm -hmm. More people would come, and they'd be looking for more food. It was very. It was just too much. So we changed a day. So it's on a Tuesday now, and it's been earlier in the month, and that's been hard to keep. So we had some issues in November, which mm -hmm. Neshova wasn't very happy because we didn't have that many people, and not you know. It, it, and it, so we're working on it. So we took a break for December, and it's coming back. Um, in February, I think. Okay. We took for a break in January. For what day? I forget. It's the end of the month. I think it's a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. It's it just, we have... Tuesdays now are big. Huh? Tuesdays is, well, actually, they're up to about 40 on Tuesday. Yeah. We have a few 40s. So well, what, we're, what I'm trying to do, and you may not agree, and I love your opinion, but I have people that come to the center every day, and some of them can't afford Neshobotek's lunch. So, Sheffy is making a, a soup. How much does Neshobotek charge for their meal? Twelve. Well, it's, it's ten dollars, but we add the tip, so it's twelve dollars. And they bring it to the center? They bring it to the center, hot. And How many people do you get to be served? Mm -hmm. It is expensive, um, It's and but I'm very concerned about the people that just come every day, so. Now the polka people aren't happy about that The polka change. people aren't happy. Yeah. It's very difficult to make everyone. Yeah, How many <laughs> people do you get for the Neshoba meal? It depends. Um, I think it's decreased over it's, time. It has decreased over time. Yes, it used to be like thirty-two people. Um, oh yeah. Is the price negotiable? No. It's an it's an awesome meal. It's worth the price. Okay. It is. No, I'm yeah. just asking because uh, I know some people aren't fixed income. Yeah, 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 you have to have the income to to right. have the meal. Yeah. You know. Because like for Charlotte's this month, I guess we have over 20. Yeah, I, I haven't actually looked at it. So Somebody I, said it was up to 26. Well, but Charlotte's, it's awesome. It's close, yeah. It's $12, Charlotte's so you get dessert. I'm going there. Yeah, it's a great meal. Yeah. Charlotte's on Main Street. There's seafood, seafood. You know, all the That's seniors right. go there and meet. Yep, yep. Yep, and it's everything. Dessert, yeah. you name it. Bailey's Lobster. does a great job. Yeah, it's, it's great. Pasta, scallops, and shrimp. Wow. Yes, I'm going to take the day off. So, there, so what you have for the reports, just to jump back to this, okay. we have no, the November report. Um, November was a very busy month. Um, we had nails for the holiday, 22 people came to that. Neshoba Tech, 21 people shine. We had 36 people with Ann Shelton in November. Um, the art classes, we had 7 to 12 people that attended. and. As you know, the art show is up now for the whole entire month, and it is absolutely beautiful. That, um, was, that was amazing. It is. I it's couldn't gorgeous. believe mm -hmm. the people we have in the senior so center, talented. the artwork they put up. And just I so walked around there, and I just was so amazed. Mm -hmm. I even talked to one of the ladies that did some of the work. Were there any for sale signs on the art? Oh, there was up for sale. Yeah. There, was, there was two or three up for yeah. sale. Uh, one of them is is uh, she has another show in another town, so she's yeah. holding on to her stuff. That's right. But I asked her for beautiful. one of her paintings. It's beautiful. You should come by. It's so pretty. It's I asked her for so one of her nice. paintings, and she said, it? "Well, hmm? I, am, I have to bring it." Yeah, I don't know how I missed it. Oh. It'll be up all month. It looks beautiful. It's beautiful. Good. It's gorgeous. The room she looks beautiful Alice. for New Year's Eve. Yeah. It Alice just it makes as I said, the art makes the center so warm yeah. and cozy and inviting, mm -hmm. and that's the last what we need. establishment need. would not allow anything put up on the walls. <laughs> but we have it now, and it's beautiful. So back to November, coloring art design. We had eight to thirteen people usually. Mm -hmm. Wednesday movies, six to nine people, um, and that really does vary. It depends on the movie, obviously. Uh, walking group, we still have four people that are walking when it's not snowing and not That's really great. Cold, so, yeah. um, and they, I think they have been at the mall a couple times. Um, Veterans Day ceremony, I've already talked about it. We had about 82 people that attended. Um, Apple Seeds kids, I could not be there that day, but we had 55 people. Um, that enjoyed Apple Seeds preschool performance, and oh, I they think were was, wonderful. they were fabulous. They were just fabulous. They're fabulous. They come every year, and they're the cutest little things. So, mm -hmm. the cancer support group, eight people attended that group. Candle Centerpiece was with Dixie, 11 people. Everyone loves Dixie. She does an amazing job. Um, I'm skipping over Thanksgiving dinner. Bailey's, um, we go to, went to Bailey's restaurant, 11 people went to that. Mm -hmm. It's it, That's always a great turnout. 
Indian Hill, 15 people enjoyed that. And if you don't know what Indian Hill is, it's going to the Indian Hill School, and they have um, Bach lunches. So you can go to 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock, and Cheryl kind of lets everybody know what's going to be, what's going mm -hmm. on, and then they kind of pick a time, and she reserves tables. It costs nothing. And oh, people wow. meet there, and it's mm -hmm. free mm -hmm. music that's absolutely phenomenal. So uh, I, I think we have a lot of people that carpool. And, the, and if you had somebody that couldn't drive or was nervous about driving there by themselves, we can always hook them up with somebody that yeah. drives there. I have a schedule up on the wall. So if there's a se seasonal thing yeah. to June, because June will be the last one. Right. So this month is Fred Astaire's music. It's so going to be awesome. What's the date? you recall? It's always the third Thursday. Of the yeah, month. And this is a free lunch when you use it? No, well, you, you bring, bring your lunch. Bring your own oh, lunch. You bring your own box lunch. Yep. Well, they, they do have cookies, don't they? They have cookies and tea and coffee. Tea and coffee. So you just need to oh, bring your own lunch. lunch. No, it's a third Thursday. So I know some of you have gone through this. Um, we had an Alzheimer's talk. 14 people came to that. She was phenomenal. Um, Bernadette from the nursing and hospital. Minutemen, thank you. She was so great. She's she's a great resource for us. What I'm going to try to do is see if we can't find a grant to get her into our center for a couple times a month um, as a um, um, advocate or uh, to talk about any um, any family issues that people may have. But we need to find a grant. So that's my mission right now, and I will find it. Um, greeting cards, we had 13 people, pizza party, 73, and the podiatrist was fully booked with 23 people. That's um, great. The podiatrist is great. That's working out fabulous. Um, she, d Cheryl, what she did is she put December on here, too, because we didn't meet. So coloring art design was 8 to 13, movies 6 to 9, once again. Walking group, we still have four people that are walking, and they walk the rail trail, actually. Um, 14 people for the technology classes. What Bob's doing now is he's doing individual classes. People are coming in with different issues, so he's doing private little lessons and not so much the group as, as, as much. He does, it's going well, very well. Um, art classes, um, Peter Katrubel. Katrubel. Peter Katrubel. We have 8 to 13 people that attend the class. and. Um, Really, only five people um, did the art show with thir over 30 pieces, so it's yeah, yeah. fabulous. And what I wanted to say was, we have one of the, um, um, and I won't, I can't think of her name right now, but she called today. They're going to continue. Oh, she's a, she's an artist. Oh, yeah, nice. and she's talked to a lot of people that were mm -hmm. in the art class. So we're going to keep that Thursday. We're just going to um, move them a little, like about 12:30, so that some people that come all the time can won't have to wait around for the class. So it'll be 12.30 on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great that they're going to continue with that. I'm pumped. Oh, they will be so excited. I know. Um, the cyber class, of, so Bob did a cyber talk. Um, we had about 19 people that attended that. And what he did is he did it in the um, computer room on the TV, and it went really well. Um, the kissing balls was awesome. We had 16 people for the kissing balls, and that's from Rosa Sharon in Groton. Uh, no, Dunstable. Dunstable. And uh, that, that went fabulous. We even had people on a waiting list that were able to get in that day. We just, the numbers, they soared. It was great. And it was very reasonable. She did it for $15, and um, they were just beautiful. Um, Neshova Tech, we had 14 people. Um, notice the number coming down. <laughs> Shine and Sheldon, and we already went through this, but we had about eight people um, in December that saw Anne. The White Mountains Christmas, we had a trip this uh, for Christmas. We had um, 33 people that went to their Christmas thing, and they had a blast. It was so much fun. Um, and they, that's all they did was talk about how, what a great time they had. So the group that we, I mean, the, the um, Cheryl found this awesome tour, tour group. We didn't know how it was going to go. We thought it was a little pricey, but it isn't. It's working out great, and people are loving it. And they're, it, we're getting the bigger buses. And it's just going so well. It's fabulous. I'm hoping to go on one of these trips with them because it's a blast. We've got the Remembrance Tree. We had 38 people joined. Well, we had a lot more than 38 people. That's not right. That's that's not right. We had over 50 people there.
for the Remembrance Tree Ceremony, and it was beautiful. Oh, yeah. We had at least uh, 20 new angels on our tree. Um, the harpist was phenomenal. Mark did an amazing job. He read each name and the dates and everything. It was, mm -hmm. it was just beautiful. Um, it, was, it's, it was just a wonderful event. So that number is wrong. I'm sorry about that. Presence for parents mm -hmm. was great. Uh, we had 19 volunteers, and the kids were adorable. We got in the paper, um, which was great. We have a great um, volunteer, Joanne um, Reagan. She's been taking pictures and writing a little thing and getting it in the paper. Um, we were in the paper for our Christmas dinner, um, which was great. And she was because she was there and she did that for us. So she's going to try and do more of that. She's kind of going to be my little photographer, <laughs> <laughs> which is fabulous. But any way we can get the paper, I'm all for. Yep. And, and if she can do that for us, go for it. Uh, Laura's greeting cards, we had 14 people, the Christmas dinner, as you know, it says 169, but really it was at capacity. We had 199 with the volunteers included, and the singing trooper was phenomenal. Indian Hill concert, only nine people went. It was a 30s and 50s, um, complimentary coffee and tea and cookies and all that good stuff. Vintage vocal quartet, music of the 30s and 40s, so that was December's. The Nisitis at Middle School came, 48 people enjoyed the concert. Ugly Sweater Day, a lot of people joined in. Um, we asked the kids that came that day to wear their ugly sweaters too, did they? Yeah. They did? Good. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Um, but it went great all in all. It was awesome. You have newsletters. I don't want to bore you with the whole thing, but you have your newsletters, and that's what her third page is, is the, really the newsletter and what's coming up. So would anyone like me to review that, or are we good? No. Good. We're good. Sounds good. Can I get a motion to accept the... Activities report for November and December. For November and December, Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> Sheila. That's right. Harry. <laughs> a motion has been made by Sheila, seconded by Peter Norbert. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We accept the activities minutes. Is there anything else? Does anybody have any other questions or concerns? If not, we will close this meeting at 7.08 p.m. to reopen on the 2nd, For the 14th of February. 14th of February. 14th of February, isn't that Valentine's Day? Yes, yep. yep. Valentine's Day. Yep. Oh, we'll let me hold on before we say you yes to that. Wait a minute. <coughs> before we approve that it's my birthday. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Do you want to go with the? Birthday. I need to look at the activities report because um, we're doing a. I don't know if it's an evening event. Yeah, you got a Valentine's thing. We got a there. Forever Friends party. Oh. And we have music coming. Oh. How about we do the Tuesday before? Where's February? Is that the seventh? The seventh. Oh, we haven't done February yet. How about February seventh? Is everybody okay with that? I have a meeting that day. You don't want to be at meetings all that evening? Well, it's after your meeting, so uh, that would your cut your meeting short. We finished pretty much on time. Okay. How about February 21st? School vacation week? It doesn't matter. Well, the, the town offices are open now, right? Mm -hmm. School vacation. So will the 21st work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Fine with me. Hey. We're going to do the 21st this month. birthday. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and you wouldn't want to be here on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Your <laughs> special friend is going to want to take you somewhere. I'll be coming back from somewhere. So. Oh, okay, I'm going to show you something about this. Nice little book. Okay. I'm coming, flying back in the day before from somewhere. Flying back? Yeah. I'm going to Vegas that weekend. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Phil, do you think we got a wedding going on? Oh, no, no. no. no there ain't no wedding in their future. Uh, meeting is adjourned. I'm sorry. <laughs> it took her seven years just to get a ring. They did me.